I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, Become a Digital Ready Professional. Are you digital ready? I'm going to hand things over to our featured presenter today. He is the Managing Director for Cloud, Creden Cloud Credential Council, Mr. Mark O'Loughlin. Mark, you now have the floor. Thank you, Maya. Thank you very much for that introduction. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and I guess possibly good evening to some folk out there and to everybody joining today's session for New Horizons. Um, I'm looking through the topic of digital ready professionals today and how that relates to your uh, portfolio. My name is Mark O'Loughlin. As my aunt said, I'm the Managing Director of the Cloud Credential Council. Uh, we also refer to the Cloud Credential Council as the CCC. Um, a big thank you to Kevin and Laura at New Horizons for asking me to join you today. So I'm going to provide you with some insights into the need for developing what we're calling digital ready professionals. I want to give you some context behind that and how the CCC portfolio um, can be used for organizations and IT professionals, individuals to develop and reskill to become digital ready professionals. Now, I just find a slide is stuck. If you just bear with me one moment. There we go. Apologies. Okay. The CCC is the home of Digital Ready Professionals. Um, I'm just going to give you some very brief introduction to the CCC. We'll close on a little bit more information. But uh, the Cloud Credential Council, as you can see, is a global community driven organization. Um, and we empower companies and individuals on their transformation journey in this digi digital age. I'm going to explain what digi digital age means in a couple of minutes. Um, we do this by offering vendor neutral certification for IT professionals. And the portfolio, as you can see on screen, includes cloud computing, big data, Internet of Things, IoT, blockchain, and artificial intelligence. And I'll give you some more details on that throughout this session. Um, the CCC certification of programs will help IT professionals and organize organizations, what we say, maximize the potential of their, what we now call these digital journeys, uh, what they do, with this latest technology, and how they look to achieve um, competitive advantage. The Cloud Credential Council is a vendor neutral and community driven organization. And I'll explain how you can use that to position the portfolio um, a little bit later on. And um, we, believe, we, we, we do believe that by working through the CCC portfolio, as well as other portfolios that are out there, individuals will prepare themselves to become digital ready professionals and will enable their organizations to deal with this, um, these digital strategies that we're now seeing. I'm going to start with a simple question. I'm going to finish on this as well, but just by introduction, very simple question four words actually two letters two words are you digital ready so it's a very simple question but I want to put the context behind this in today's session and how we can use the training portfolios from the CCC and the wider portfolio from New Horizons together to help organizations and individuals answer and address this question the are you digital ready um, that you see here is actually a campaign that's uh, been driven by the CCC. It's a global campaign, and we think it's a very powerful tool which can also be used to help position the CCC portfolio um, to your clients. The answer to this question, you know, how do you get digital ready is supported, first of all, by our own portfolio at the CCC, as you saw, cloud, big data, IoT, blockchain being part of it, and the wider uh, portfolio from New Horizons. By way of introduction, we've been talking about this digital transformation, this digital journey. What is this? Um, we're in what's called, what's now being labeled the, the fourth industrial revolution. And I always think this is a exciting times. And this industrial revolution this time around has been driven by the latest in technologies. Uh, the latest technologies, majority of them underpinned one way or another by, by cloud, what we now call cloud. And we're seeing more and more of this new technology and this new software coming online, coming on stream, becoming embedded in the workplace, but also embedded in society. So 
people going into work have an expectation that technology should work um, like like no time in the past that we've had. And because we're in this industrial revolution period, fourth industrial revolution, it represents a time of change, a time of upheaval, uh, both for individuals and organizations. And it's because of this change, this industrial revolution, whatever label we want to put on it, is what's requiring people now to upskill and retrain uh, if they are to remain relevant in this ever-changing workspace today. And that's what I want to position with you on today's session is, you know, this this digital, this change, this upheaval, the need for upskilling and reskilling to stay relevant. And I'll use a couple of examples that hopefully will uh, will resonate with yourselves and that you can use with, um, with customers alike as well. And you see, Industry 4.0 is another term for industrial revolution for. Um, it's all linked to this thing called digital transformation. Um, when we step back from what is digital transformation, you know, it, it's about changing and improving a business model, uh, some, some form of how an organization works using the latest technologies. Sometimes it's these uh, new startup companies that have no legacy IT. Sometimes it's these uh, companies that have a lot of legacy that are thinking, how do we get the best out of this, this new technology? How do we re-envisage and re-enable a business strategy or create a new business strategy? How do we look to get a better enabled workforce? How do we create innovation within the processes that we have to follow? Um, and how can we use improved technology to modify that business model? How do we, you know, benefit from all this information? How do we analyze all of this and do something differently with it? Um, the analytics part is, is quite key at the end of this. Uh, if we're to believe that information is the new oil, if you believe that phrase, you know, we need stronger data analytics to make sense of all this information that's being created and then to do something with this. But, you know, overall, to achieve this type of transformation, this type of new industry 4.0 and all its benefits, organizations need people capable of understanding, using, and also exploiting the latest in digital technologies. And that really means upskilling the workforce, whether that's on an individual basis or it's, it's looked at from an organizational basis where the organization supports this type of upskilling. Um, organizations who succeed with this, and a few examples here, I'll just keep these brief, but if you look at the middle one um, under Armour, uh, they're a sports clothing company brand, but actually maybe they're not. In their own words, you know, they see themselves as a lifestyle advisor through the use of technology. That's a completely different mindset, and when you look at what they're doing, they're using um, analytics, information, IoT is coming into Under Armour. Um, they're using clouds and different types of technologies to reimagine their business model. And what they want to be seen as a lifestyle advisor, um, using things like these Fitbits and technologies like that to help people improve their lives. Um, even at the end of the day, they're a clothing company. They're, they're allowing themselves to reimagine that with this. Um, you've got some of these digital native organizations that started off um, digital, some more examples. Or these are examples of companies who have disrupted existing business models and in many cases have become leaders in that marketplace. Amazon being a prime example of how to disrupt the retail industry. Um, Booking.com, looking at the bookings, Airbnb, Netflix, I think um, a quote for Netflix is it's one of the largest cinemas, uh, film producers in the world. It owns no cinemas. So it's about using all this new technology, reimagine the business model that's called digital disruption. But we need people and organizations capable of managing and working in this space. And those organizations that are not capable to transform, as this slide says, ultimately will fail. Two prime examples, Blockbuster, undone by Netflix, and Borders, a bookstore type in US chain, undone by Amazon. 
you know, they did not embrace the latest in digital, the latest in technology, and didn't use all of this new tech to actually do something or change how they operated as a business. And in effect, went out of business because of that. And to boil down this whole digital transformation, uh, from what you've seen in those examples, this new technology opens up new opportunities from a business perspective. So it's not just about the technology anymore. It's not just about learning the technology. It's how will these new technologies, this new digital stuff, um, help us understand the new opportunities? Um, we have to challenge what we do today and how we do things today. Uh, we've got to change the way we work and you've got the pressure now of agile coming in. Agile is now we can now bring agile capabilities into organizations because of the ability from cloud and a lot, a lot of these new technologies allow us to do things quicker, faster, smarter than we've ever been able to do it before. But are we equipped to do that? And leading to changing uh, business models. And this is where the impact is coming back on people and organizations to upskill, reskill, and understand everything that's going on um, to try and open up new opportunities, challenge the way they work, change the way they work, change their business models to remain in business and competitive. And that's the landscape we're in. So the CCC, um, we'd like to believe, we believe that we're empowering organizations on their transformation journey. And the CCC supports both individuals and organizations, as you say here, in their digital transformation journey. Um, the CCC portfolio has been specifically designed to upskill individuals, IT professionals, and organizations to understand how to and take advantage of all these new emerging digital technologies and to look at that from the business perspective. Um, the CCC portfolio is vendor neutral, which provides an overall view of how all these technologies should work for the business and how they can deliver business results required by the organization. Um, and it's a very powerful portfolio, but it also works alongside a lot of the training, portf the technological portfolios that are out there. And I have a little diagram to represent that coming up shortly. But I want to use an example of a major technological change which has happened in the past to try and help cement this change um, to the audience today. And for you maybe to use an example like this or something like this to explain the absolute change that is happening and the impact of that change on individuals, on IT professionals, and on organizations. Um, and it's this, if we go back about 80 years to the year 1939. Um, what's in the image here is what's called a typewriter pool. These were big factories, warehouses, offices, um, full of people working on typewriters, very old technology. Um, I believe the last typewriter factory, manufacturing factory closed in 2011, it was in India. They didn't make much. It was really uh, novelty stuff they're making at that stage. But in this type A, you've got people working on typewriters processing data on paper. And um, we have people, there's productivity happening here. There's um, a lot of tools in place, lots of outputs. A particular way of working has been set in place. There will be work, workplace analytics, probably manual measurements back then. Very film, familiar. So this was an industry in itself. Um, it can also relate to service management from an industry perspective, but if instant problem change and all that kind of stuff going in here. But ultimately, we have um, this work. This was very well established um, and employed a lot of people. But what happened over time was that industry got replaced. And it got replaced by this thing called a computer. And in the other image here, we have it's a uh, old mainframe from, uh, let's say, the 60s. And in turn, they've been replaced by something else. The people working in the typewriter pool either had to upskill and reskill if they wanted to work in this new computer age, or their industry was, shrink, was going to shrink and shrink over time. And it did to the point where it no longer existed. Um, as you came into the, the, the 80s and 90s, people used less and less of these typewriters and more and more of the uh, the computing. Um, 
And this shows a, a, a you know, a really strong example of a tech technological change. The technology change here was from manual processing of data, uh, paper, and typewriters into computing. Completely different technology, complete shift, change how people worked, change their ways of working, what they did, um, how they work, change the tools that they use, um, increase productivity, but only if you could use the new systems. And you'll see the example here where there might be two people operating this mainframe, this computer system. Um, a lot of services built up of different types of jobs and new jobs built up around about maintaining that new technology. That if the typewriter pool folks didn't upskill or reskill, uh, they would find themselves eventually um, out of work, the manufacturers out of business, and so forth. So I think this resonates very well. Um, I've used this quite a lot with people to say that today, this all this talk of digital, cloud, big data, all this stuff represents the latest change in technologies. And are we ready for that? Are we equipped for that both for our individual staff and at an organizational level to A, remain in business, never mind being competitive? And this is where this reskilling and upskilling comes from for the digital age. I think a lot of organizations that we spoke to start to understand that when we use an example like this, whereas beforehand they they don't see it. Uh, sure, it's just, it's just new technology, it's just new computers, just new different way of things. Our people are well equipped. Um, we find they're not. Uh, they don't understand things like IoT, even cloud. I'll cover off some of those um, uh, domains in a few minutes. So this is a good example that we've used uh, certainly ourselves from at the CCC. You can encourage yourselves if it's useful um, to use this type of example to show the age we're in today, massive technological change, all this digital cloud, big data, IoT, blockchain, artificial intelligence, fundamentally changing what we do and how we do it, and are we equipped? That's the key message. Um, this image represents the CCC portfolio. Um, and as you can see, the domains, the digital domains represented here at the moment include cloud, IoT, Internet of Things, big data, blockchain, and artificial intelligence. Um, our vendor neutral courses are about a foundation level and a professional level. I'll briefly just mention them here, and I have some slides coming up with a little detail on some of these. At the foundation level, there are two day courses, introductory courses. Uh, we have uh, for cloud, the uh, cloud technology associate and CTA. Um, IoT, big data, blockchain, and artificial intelligence. Uh, cloud, IoT, and big data are available today. We're launching blockchain at the end of the month, uh, the end of February 2019. We're launching blockchain foundation, and artificial intelligence foundation is um, coming soon. It's uh, under development at the moment. So there are two-day introductory um, courses. They don't have any prerequisites. Um, but they give a good understanding as to what these digital domains are and what they mean from a business perspective. At the professional level, there are three-day courses, slightly more advanced. Um, in cloud, we have four, professional cloud service manager, cloud security manager, solutions architect, and cloud administrator. I have some notes coming up on those. Uh, and we're developing shortly the IoT advanced and the big data analytics advanced. The other thing this... Uh, slide represents here is CCC has a vendor neutral portfolio of training and education. We also recommend uh, for organizations to take vendor specific training as well. For example, we've put some here. If you're using AWS for your cloud infrastructure as a service, an organization is going to need to know how to use the technical components of AWS. Um, if, if an organization is also using Microsoft Azure for maybe some platform or infrastructure or some other services, we recommend organizations need to get that technical training. But we also say none of these, we also see that a lot of organizations will be using uh, multiple vendors in this cloud digital space. And the CCC portfolio helps you make sense of that multiple vendor relationship and how you use all these technologies together to deliver business solutions. So we like to think of ourselves as the, the glue that pulls all of these um, vendor tools and vendor solutions together. So we don't 
compete with vendor training. We actually complement the other training that are out there and the other trainings that are in the New Horizons portfolio as well. Um, we help you to we help customers and organizations make sense of all of this and pull it together. And I think that's a very strong and powerful uh, proposition that we have from the CCC. So I'll spend a few minutes going through uh, the portfolios just to give you um, a brief on that. Um, there is more details available um, through New Horizons. And if you need more after this call, you can um, put a request in to the chat and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. So the cloud certification program helps you look at um, the cloud environments. Um, and in some research that we've done recently from Forbes, you know, they're saying 83% of enterprise workloads will be in the cloud by 2020. Uh, this is kind of on target where a lot of organizations are have moved a lot to the cloud and now they've realized what should have gone into cloud and probably what shouldn't have. But ultimately, more and more organizations are moving to cloud services and traditional data center services are on the decline. And what we're now starting to see is organizations putting more of the right services into the right type of cloud more often. So they're choosing the right strategy as opposed to what's happened in the past. But this has happened because of training and education they've had, and in some cases by having made mistakes. And you'll see there, you know, a no cloud policy will be rare as a no internet policy today. So that's 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 what it's looking like. Um, according to the uh, Right Scale 2018 State of the Cloud report, um, some interesting facts here. Um, cloud is going mainstream and more and more people are going in and adopting it. But again, organizations have had issues along the way. Uh, the, a lot of organizations haven't got things right and are still making mistakes. That's why this training is, is quite vital because they're facing these particular challenges. Uh, and we've listed a few of them here. Uh, in the research continually conducted by the CCC, we continue to see these issues uh, reoccur. And it's interesting because uh, cloud in its form today started in 2006. So 12 years later, organizations are still having these issues and these, these, these pain points because they simply try to adopt technology without actually understanding that technology itself. And, um, you know, it's evident from a people perspective, missing skills. An example here is cloud architects, huge shortage. Uh, people technologically focused, focused on the cloud solution as opposed to what's the business sense of doing this. Um, a big thing we see at the CCC is when it comes to any of these domains, but specifically cloud, people don't know what they don't know. An example of this is if we take 10 people in a room in the CCC class, ask 10 people what is cloud, you will get back 10 different answers. Um, nobody can say the same answer for, for that, that question. Coming out of a CCC course, they can answer that together. So, uh, you know, that's a big challenge at the moment. Um, some of your customers, some of your organizations don't know that they are having, uh, don't know they don't know and don't know that the problems that will happen. Uh, no common language. We saw this in the idle world 25 years ago. We didn't have a common language. Once we got that language, it's a lot easier to um, to, to succeed. Uh, not wanting to change the old uh, issue with people and a lack of guidance for cloud. At the organizational level, issues again, skill get skills gaps. Uh, focus on technology as opposed to doing the right thing and getting the right results from cloud. Um, the integration of hybrid cloud, so multiple cloud vendors, multiple cloud solutions, how do you manage all of that? The vendors won't, don't get into that space because that's not what they want to do. They want to help you use their individual services. And the CCC have seen this and have said, we will try and be the wrapper, be the glue, uh, be the holistic end-to-end -end view of these cloud services. And other points there, cost savings versus innovation. That's an interesting one. And certainly we teach this in some of the courses is, you know, if you're innovating with these digital technologies, can you save costs at the same time? If the organization is using this digital technology to save costs, is that the right thing? Or where where will, you know, where will you find difficulties there? And so forth. An effective cloud strategy remains one of the, the biggest uh, issues. Um, of the CCC cloud portfolio, uh, we show here the foundation and professional cloud uh, uh, certifications again. At the foundation level, we have Cloud Technology Associate. Um, it's a two-day course, 40 questions, 60-minute exam. 
Um, it's a brief primer on what cloud is, is for technologists and non-technical people as well. And the C CTA Plus uh, gives an extra one day, um, which allows you for more training, more hands-on labs and that kind of stuff. These two courses can be classroom-based can be on, or can be online. Um, and then at the professional level, we have um, four courses, Solutions Cloud Solution Architect, Cloud Service Manager, Cloud Security Manager and Cloud Administrator, looking at those areas themselves. There's no prerequisite for joining the professional course either. So you don't have, unlike some of the other, like Idle, you don't have to do a foundation course before you do the professional course. Um, you just have to gauge the audience um, uh, capabilities and I guess um, how deep they want to go. The three-day professional courses go a lot deeper. They're a lot more advanced than the two-day foundation courses. I uh, just like highlighted two here, um, the uh, PCA, the Professional Cloud Administrator, and the CTA. Um, I just mentioned those because we have some scheduled dates for those coming up towards the end. Uh, big Data Foundation, big data is essential. The analysis of data, collection of data is essential for businesses going forward. Um, and the phrase, I love this, data is the new oil and it's going to drive organizations like Under Armour. Are they creating clothes or are they trying to change people's lifestyles by understanding data and giving them services and, and capabilities uh, for, for their lifestyle? Data has to be understood and then you have to understand how to monetize that data. Uh, some more research here, 53% of companies are adopting big data in one way, shape or form. Um, you'll see that uh, big data is becoming big business, but it's once people and organizations learn what it is and know how to identify, capture, analyze, and monetize data. But this can be difficult if you're starting out. And again, some of the challenges that we've seen from CCC continually uh, reporting to us, missing skills. Uh, missing skills are platforms. It can be hard to learn. It's different, it's difficult. Uh, we're collecting all this data, but what does it mean? How can we monetize it? Uh, how, how can we del deliver something back to a customer? Um, organizations are unclear what the capabilities of big data are and how they can help the organization. Skill shortage, dealing with all this data volumes. Um, cloud allows us to store all this data cheaply, but what are we going to do with it? creating timely insights. So we're looking to a position and understanding of this with the uh, Big Data Foundation course and with the uh, professional level course that's being developed is to deeper dive into answering those business questions regarding big data. The tools are out there, the vendors have them. It's how do you pull it together? How do you join it up? And what are you really going to achieve with it? Because if your organization isn't doing that, your competitor is. That's one of the key messages from uh, from the big data space at the moment. And you see here the uh, Big Data Foundation. Again, today can be classroom, can be online. Uh, course, 40 questions, 60 minute exam. Uh, that's the introductory. And then plan for 29, we're developing the big data analytics uh, follow on course, which will be a deeper dive into uh, big data. IoT, the Internet of Things, a uh, very interesting area. Uh, it's a huge area of development at the moment. Um, and the IoT certification program from CCC looks to, you know, introduce the business capabilities of Internet of Things, its advantages, the key terminologies, as well as what we call monetization models. How are you potentially going to make some money from an organizational perspective from IoT? or that competitive advantage thing. Um, uh, globally, IoT, it's an absolute growth market um, and organizations are only getting started with this. Um, you know, IoT really has the potential to deliver um, significant competitive advantage um, to organizations over the, the, the coming years. You know, and also to challenge well-established well -established businesses unless they figure out what they can do with IoT. And we're seeing so, much, so many IoT um, uh, sensors and things coming into a home now. Um, you know, smart lights, smart heating, all this kind of stuff. Um, I think consumers are going to love this stuff, 
but it comes at a at cost. And we'll look at that in a moment. Gartner predicting by 2020, more than 65% of enterprises will adopt some form of IoT products. Now, whether that's 2020 or they're a few years ahead of themselves, whether it's 2023, IoT is on the rise. There's no doubt about it. It's 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 a growth industry. Um, their predictions again. We're just seeing more and more devices being fitted with some form of sensor, generating some form of data. Goes back to big data that's probably stored in the cloud, and waiting for a business to understand what is this data what can we do with it how can we do something for for our customer and in turn retain those customers increase revenues but similar problems uh, as we've seen in the past lack of clear guidance on adopting iot for people lack of skills what is iot above and beyond what we think it is what's the common language or what's the standard you know um what's the resistance to change again how are we going to make sense of this? For organizations, is, is there a high cost in investing in IT infrastructure, or can you use um, vendor solutions very economically to try something out? But there is a key issue between security and governance of the data, and that's very important. So it's a good blend between IoT and big data. Not everybody has to attend these types of courses, but certainly people involved, um, there's no harm in overlapping some of these courses as well. Da data regulations. Again, too much focus on the technology rather than focus on what will IoT achieve for us, like with uh, Under Armour. Um, it helps them reinvent themselves as a lifestyle uh, organization that helps uh, their customers with their lifestyles. Fantastic story. Um, and you see for ourselves, uh, it's for all the courses that we present here, but the CCC introduced the first vendor neutral IoT certification program. Same with what we believe big data. It's not vendor focused. It's focused on the business aspect of and the benefits and the reasons why we should be doing this. And then we would refer people to the technological solution providers to get some training on how to use the technology itself. Um, currently, we have the Internet of Things Foundation course. Again, it's a foundation two-day classroom or online um, course for the question, 60-minute exam. Very good primer. I know from a CCC perspective, we've had feedback um, on all these courses, but this one in particular comes to mind. Uh, we've had some, uh, you know, very serious business managers attend, business type folk attend these courses along with some technologists and walk away saying, wow, that, that was amazing. That's, that's some of the best training I've ever had it, because it opens my eyes on what this technology can do and how we should be thinking and how it can bring advantage to our organization rather than teaching me about the technology itself. So very good, uh, very good feedback there. So there's a common theme here, and it's even in the, uh, I found it in the New Horizons slide, which I was uh, very happy to see, upgrading people. And, you know, the common theme right now is about upgrading professionals for this change that's happened in technology, and we call the stuff digital, whatever it is. And when professionals upgrade and upskill, they then help their organizations to transform, to use the latest technologies to solve some of these business problems. And that's where we are today in the industry. And that's why the CCC has been constantly developing and redeveloping the portfolio to keep addressing this, you know, this upgrading of people, this requirement to upgrade and this requirement um, to change. And just a few notes about the CCC. Um, as we said, CCC, we're a global community-driven organization. Um, we're empowering people and their organizations, you know, on this journey of digital transformation. As we said, digital transformation is about this new change in technology, but how we go about that from a business perspective. Um, we have the portfolio of cloud, big data, and IoT. Um, blockchain, as we said, we're releasing Blockchain Foundation at the end of uh, this month. Uh, so we have a fantastic launch plan for that. And AI will come out later on this year. Um, we're very ex excited about that. What we're doing with AI is looking at AI today, artificial intelligence today, as opposed to the futuristic view that some organizations have on what that is. We'll give you more details on that throughout the year. And I, I think what, we're, what we've outlined here as well, the, the CCC programs have been designed to provide what we call context. So it's not about giving 
learners and people and organizations definitions and just a language to go back to the organization with what we spend over the two days or the three days in the classroom is to provide the context around these technological advances and what it means to the business and how to make sense and use and get the benefits from these technological advances and we do we do put forward that we um we do recommend that people do take the technology trainings for the technologies that they use, um, and that involves taking training from um, technological uh, vendors, Microsoft, Amazon, the Googles, whoever that is, the Cisco's. You still need that level of training, but you need this extra level to pull it all together, because we're now using, organizations are now using lot, lots of what we call point solutions, um, clouds and big data and IOTs, specific solutions by specific vendors, but somebody needs to pull it all together. And that way, you know, we're trying to translate these technical capabilities into programs that helps professionals to deliver the value back to their organizations, you know. And the phrase we have, uh, together we accelerate successful digital transformation to world-class training and education. Uh, a few points here. CCC is vendor neutral. As we keep saying, it's a it, it, it's at the core of what we do here at the CCC. We're vendor neutral. We don't pick on any particular vendor um, approach and go with that. We're looking at a uh, general approaches that can apply in a multi-vendor, multi-cloud, multi-digital uh, environment. Uh, we're complementary to uh, other training portfolios, as we keep mentioning out there. We're not competing with other training portfolios. We want to complement them. And we're an open organization, we're not for profit, and we do bring in a lot of um, specialists from the globe to help develop the portfolio. We're very proud to say that and to do that. And then um, just a final review on the uh, the portfolio. As you said, it's vendor neutral. Um, it's very common for many organizations now to be using many different vendor services in cloud and digital. Um, so we believe this vendor neutral accreditation and the portfolio that we have is so important um, for these services to work together. Uh, just a quick mention on the cloud portfolio on these two professional cloud administrator and the CTA cloud technology associate. Um, Laura has provided some details on just some of the courses that are already scheduled. Uh, they're showing on the screen there. And um, I believe there's more courses likely to be scheduled as well. So either keep an eye out for those or get in contact um, for more courses to be scheduled themselves. Um, just before we close here on this part of the, uh, the session, the CCC has developed a number of different tools. The two I want to represent yourselves today are the following the Digital Skills Survey and our Cloud Adoption Readiness Assessment. Um, the digital skills survey is we're analyzing the market at the moment. We will produce a report throughout the year looking at what skills are in play, where the gaps are, um, you know, looking at that environment itself. And there's a short survey uh, and the link is there. We would encourage uh, for your customers to you know, be involved to uh, participate in that so that we can generate a very good market report that we'd like to feed back to um, around the globe, back to New Horizons, so you can provide that to your organizations uh, and your customers so you can see you know, what is happening in this digital landscape from a skills perspective. Um, to help organizations understand where they are in their cloud readiness, we've created a cloud um, readiness assessment. It's in conjunction with, um, with academia. Um, it's 20 questions. It's a sh very, very short, very brief questionnaire um, that a mid-level manager can fill in. Um, 20 questions, very brief, and they get back an actual personalized report um, uh, with findings. And this is also very well for organizations that have started the cloud journey um, that never really you know, thought about the strategy about it or maybe having some of those issues that we saw. Um, and we'll help them, again, with this report, understand where there's some gaps. A lot of the times we're seeing just gaps in skills, which is very prevalent. And because of that, we then um, launched this digital skills survey um, at the start of this year. Um, so both of these um, tools will result in various reports coming out from the CCC this year, but they're also good ways of getting in contact with your customers and just giving them some, um, some helpful guidance and advice that these tools are available and um, that they can get some benefit from that. Um, so 
I'm going to close uh, this part of the session before we have, uh, if there's any Q&A. Uh, back with this question, are you digital ready? And a question back to your customers and your clients is, are they digital ready at the individual level um, and at the organizational level? So I think you can probably see why the CCC has started this campaign. It's a global campaign. We'll continue to run this in 2019 in various ways. You know, and, and how important it now is for organizations and IT professionals to upskill, you know, to be capable of delivering business value, to be capable of delivering business results, and to use these latest digital and cloud technologies. Um, but how ready are they for that? So the question is to you and your clients and your customers, are you digital ready? Well, let's go have a look at that. So I thank you very much for your time and joining us today. I hope that was enough information for you. Um, if you'd like additional information or if you want a certain areas to go into more detail, again, either use the, uh, the feedback option today or to get in touch with um, with New Horizons and uh, with the feedback, and uh, together we can look at that. So, Mayan, if you're still with us, thank you, Mark. Um, I appreciate uh, you taking the time to do this presentation with us. Um, yeah. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to type those in now, and we'll stay on the line for a few minutes to answer those. But um, while you're typing in your questions, I just wanted to mention that if you're interested in any of the material presented in the webinar, please reach out to your local New Horizons Center for further information. Um, if you're not familiar with your local New Horizons, you can log on to newhorizons.com and do a zip code search to find the center that's nearest to you. Um, also, as a reminder that this session is being recorded and you will receive a link to view the session um, along with a PDF of the presentation later today. And at this time, if you have any questions for Mark, uh, please feel free to type them in. And give everyone a few minutes if you do have any. And while you're typing in your questions, um, I also want to let you know that we do have upcoming webinars um, that you can participate in and uh, listen in on. We have uh, next week one that's on getting started with the Google Cloud platform. So um, hopefully you can join us for that as well. And you can find the full schedule of the webinars on newhorizons.com as well. So if you wanted to uh, log on and share. Let's see here. And we do have a couple questions, Mark. The first one is, um, let's see here. The question is about upcoming training and uh, what the classes are offered. Um, I actually can answer that one for you, uh, Mark. If you log on to um, newhorizons.com and reach out to your local center, you'll be able to see um, a full schedule of uh, upcoming training and courses that are offered. And that's actually yeah, you did such a great job, Mark, about talking about the transformation and everything and um, yeah. what the cloud credential, a cloud council credential um, is all about that. We don't have any other questions. That's okay. That's fine. As I said, just to, I guess, end on one of the biggest challenges we found and we continue, continually find is, you know, people in organizations still don't know that they don't know a lot of this. And that mm -hmm. can be one of the bigger challenges in getting them interested. So that's why we reached out and said, look, can we find some examples of technological shifts that get people thinking about it? And we found that typewriter pool, I know, I know it's a strange one, but typewriter pool to mainframe, people step back and think about it go oh that's significant oh what if i was that typewriter person now how do i become a mainframe person and that kind of stuff and even in that example we're using old technology from what we have today but we think it, it, it kind of resonates and gets people thinking about having that conversation and we still find you know that's one of the hardest things once you're having that conversation and you get that connection with somebody they're more open to, do you know what? There is a huge amount of change out there. I never looked at it like that. 
Oh, great, that's that's good uh, input. Um, I'm not sure if you can answer this one specifically, Mark, but okay. um, do you know if there are any courses that are appropriate for social media specialists, um, especially uh, in using big data? Um, one thing I'd say with that is it depends. Again, it, it can be specific. If you if you're using specific social media platforms, let's just pick one of them, like a Facebook or something like that. Obviously, you'll need training in that tool itself. So, how do you use the tool, and and, and so forth? What we found though is, you know, with the big data, and actually it comes up in the cloud course as well, um, in certain areas is. The things you probably wouldn't think about uh, around about um, data protection, data privacy, where's your data stored, the legal aspects of all that stuff, they can be covered in the cloud course because likes of these social tools are built on clouds or a big data course because a lot of the time we want to think about that aspect of it. Um, because that's so important. Um, there's so many companies using the likes of a, a Facebook platform that have no idea where that data is actually being stored, no idea how it's being tracked, no idea how third parties are getting access to it, but they built a business solution around that. That can be scary. So I'd say it's twofold. It's uh, absolutely whatever tool of choice you're using for social media, uh, we would recommend getting that training. We would also recommend something in the cloud space or, or say a big data course to actually think about the implications of using that. Even in IoT, the, there's a big section on, I think it's covered for about a, a third of a day. Where is your data stored? How do you protect it? How do you protect your customer's data regardless of wherever it is stored because you're accountable at the end of the day? So uh, I, I, I hope that answers the question. A great job. Um, we don't have any more questions uh, at this time, so I um, appreciate it again. Thank you, Mark, for um, presenting on behalf of New Horizons and the Cloud uh, Credential Council. Um, everyone, please feel free to log off and have a great day. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you, everybody, for joining uh, today's session. Thank you very much. Bye bye.